हॅलो एव्हरीबडी वन्स अगेन वेलकम बॅक टू माय यूट्यूब चॅनल सो टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डू द कार्विंग ऑफ मॅक्झिलरी फर्स्ट मोलर सो लेट स्टार्ट इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मार्क पॉइंट सेवन फाय सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेअर ऑन ऑल द फोर साइड्स ऑफ द ब्लॉक देन मार्क वन पॉइंट थ्री सेंटीमीटर ऑन अदर स्क्वेअर ऑन ऑल द फोर साइड्स ऑफ द ब्लॉक देन मार्क द साइड्स सच एज मिजियल लिंगवल डिस्टल अँड बक्कल ऑन ऑल द फोर साइड्स द क्राऊन ऑफ मॅक्सिलरी फर्स्ट मोलर इज रॉम्बॉयडल शेप सो ऑन द ऑक्लुजल टेबल वील डू द मार्किंग ऑफ अ रॉम्बॉयडल शेप अँड स्टार्ट रिमूव्हिंग द वॅक्स फ्रॉम द टू कॉर्नर्स opposite corners such that a rhomboidal shape will be formed look into the figure above and do the same after this we will do the marking for the cusp do the marking same as i have done here in the figure so after this we will start removing the wax from the upper edges we have to make the slopes this will help us to get the height for our cusp After this from the mesial and the distal slopes we have to make two triangles which will be our triangular fossas So after this we will start making the distolingual cusp. For this we have to make a semicircular groove first and then we have to make the cusp. Here we have to make a ridge in the center and we have to make slopes on its either sides. it is the smallest cusp of all the four cusps so after this we will start making the buckle groove for this we will extend the upper line which we have made on the buckle surface till the mesolingual cusp do same what we are, what i have shown in the figure we have to make a v shape depression here this will help us to get the two buckle cusp So after this we will start making the disto buckle cusp. Here also we have to make a central ridge and make two slopes beside it. We have to keep a little more wax in the center for making the oblique ridge. So after this we will start making the mesial buckle cusp. So here we have to make a central ridge continuous from mesial buckle cusp 
until the mesolingual cusp. Also, we have to make the slopes on its either sides of the ridge. The ridge is continuous, so make it carefully. So after this we will start making the mesolingual cusp. So simultaneously we have to keep making the oblique ridge which is starting from the distobuccal cusp till the mesolingual cusp. Also we have to make the slopes on either sides of the mesolingual cusp. The oblique ridge is continuous. So make it carefully. Also we have to make all the four curves a little prominent. such that the occlusal table looks perfect Here we have to preserve the marginal ridges, so make it carefully. Make the triangular fossas properly. After this we will start making the central transverse groove from mesial to the distal side. Extend it little more behind the marginal ridges. The transverse groove is not almost the straight, we have to make it accordingly. After this we will start making the buckle and the lingual developmental grooves. 
we have to make it little more from the mesial and the distal sides so look here how i am making and do it on the buckle side we have to make a triangular notch so after this we will start making the edges smooth and remove the wax near the cervical region we have to keep a little bulge near the cervical region and remove the excess wax no sharp edges should be visible make them round and smooth After this we will start making the cusp a little bit converging towards the center For this we will remove a little wax from the outer sides of the cusp so that we can see here the cusp are tilted towards the center After this we will start making the cusp of carabelli on the mesiolingual cusp on its corner we will mark a semicircular cusp so here the crown is almost ready and we can make out here all the cusp its ridges and the oblique ridge So now we will start making the root. So first of all we will do the marking for the lingual root. It is single and large. So we will mark the center lines on the mesial and the distal sides. Till, we are, till here we have to remove the wax. Also on the mesial and the distal sides we have to make the pits such that it will separate the buccal and the lingual roots start making the pit from both the sides such that a similar like a tunnel will be dig here remove the cover in a rounded manner such that a hole will be formed after this start making the buckle roots here also we have to make a 
pit in the center of the two roots we have to join the two pits and then start removing the edges make them smooth and give it a shape of a root The lingual root is more bulkier in comparison with the two buccal roots. It is longer than the two buccal roots. So make it rounded and also make it steep converging towards the center. So here we can see that the two buccal roots are little bit tilted towards the distal side. So make it carefully, and then we'll start polishing with the help of the cotton. Hold it by the crown and start polishing. After this we will start making the developmental grooves on the buccal and the lingual sides. Clear the base properly. and then we will start making the cervical line it is almost straight so make it on all the four sides so this was the video on maxillary first molar so like the video and subscribe the channel thank you